delegation. I, uh, I think I woke you up election night. I called you so late to congratulate you. <laughs> but it's a great victory, and uh, I uh, and my best to your wife as well. Um, the uh, relationship between the United States and the Philippines, to state the obvious, has very deep roots. We've had some rocky times, but the fact is it's a critical, critical relationship from our perspective. I hope you feel the same way. And uh, we have strong ties, including uh, millions of Filipino Americans who are very proud of their ancestry and uh, desperately want us to continue to have a strong relationship. And uh, our foundations are strong in the U.S.-Philippine alliance, which is of uh, critical importance. For decades, the alliance has strengthened both of us, I believe. And uh, one of the things I want to talk about today is how we continue to strengthen that and work together on the things that are of greatest concern to you. Today, I look forward to discussing the opportunities for a wide range of issues, including uh, uh, COVID-19 recovery, energy security, renewable energy. I, I was impressed uh, with the work you did uh, on windmills and a whole range of other things. You and I both think that's the future. We can do a lot. We, uh, we can do a lot together. I'm desperately interested in making sure we do. In addition, I expect uh, we'll discuss uh, the South China Sea uh, and disputes in critical global th throughway. Uh, I've spent a lot of time with, uh, with not only uh, the President of China but others about the international waters and how they have to be respected, and we should talk about that a little bit, I hope. And, uh, we're also, uh, thank you for your position on the war against Ukraine and, and uh, by Russia and, uh, and how it's impacting energy prices and, uh, and food prices. And we, we're working very hard to be able to do something about that. And, uh, and so we want to talk about human rights, talk about a whole range of things, but uh, I mainly am interested to know what's on your mind and how we can continue to strengthen this relationship. And again, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. And uh, thank you. Uh, we're very happy for the opportunity to uh, meet with you, despite uh, uh, the schedules that uh, we both uh, have to deal with. You came a little further than I did. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, relationship, the 100-plus-year-old relationship between the Philippines and the U.S. continues to evolve as we uh, face the challenges of this new century and uh, the events that we have been watching over the past few months, uh, uh, really. Uh, so we have very much to discuss in terms of um, uh, redefining, I suppose, in many ways. But uh, the role of the United States in uh, maintain, maintaining the peace in our region is something that is much appreciated by all uh, the countries in the regions and the Philippines especially. We feel that we are especially fortunate because we have a very strong foundation of, uh, of a very long relationship and strength, strong relationships on various facets, uh, not only political, not only diplomatic, but also economic. And of course, there is the very large uh, uh, Filipino population that have chosen to live and um, and make their lives here in the United States and uh, have been uh, very successful. Uh, again, we would like to thank the United States for the, the massive uh, help that we received during the pandemic with the provision of up to 35, almost 36 million doses of vaccines uh, very early on uh, ahead of some of the other countries and for that we are very, very grateful. Uh, we continue to look to the United States uh, for that continuing partnership and the maintenance of peace in our region. Um, in terms of the geopolitical issues that we face in this day and age, uh, the primary consideration of the Philippines and the guiding principle of the Philippine foreign policy is to encourage peace. And uh, I hope that we will be able to discuss further uh, the roles that our two countries will play together uh, and individually as we continue uh, down that road, maintaining peace uh, despite all the complexities that have arisen in the past few uh, uh, months, I suppose. So thank you again, Mr. President, for uh, making time uh, to see us. Um, we are 
your partners, we are your allies, we are your friends. And in like fashion, we have always considered the United States our partner, our ally, and our friend. Thank you. It's mutual.